taking a snack break in the uh, natural grocers parking lot. I'm reminiscing about Germantown and about how if I was in Germantown, I would go to the subway gas station and get some gas and some subway and sit out there next to the cop and make a YouTube video with them in the background talking about something. I don't even know what. And um, then I would turn on DoorDash and wait for some orders and then go to work. But here, I'm under a lot of stress, a lot of pressure. Like, my eyes look weird with these glasses on. I don't like that. I'm under a lot of stress and a lot of pressure here. So, or I have to, like, not really focus. I keep looking at the camera, then myself, for the, the stop thing to make sure we're still recording. Um, anyways. Yeah, so technically I'm, like, loitering in the parking lot here or if I was in Germantown I would go to uh, Whole Foods and get what I got here which was almonds and water in a container so I can get refills later because I've had my other containers for a while you know I don't wash them out so I'm gonna get you know recycle them and just continuously buy the recyclable ones even though it's more expensive I take them in a few times and refill them so it kind of comes out to about the same as bottled water um, so got that figured out, and, yeah. <laughs> at Whole Foods, they wouldn't care either. Tons of people at that Whole Foods. Like, all kinds of attire, you know, office suits to the hippie kind of guys like me. Kids my age to adults, you know, all people in all attire. Some with masks, some not. <clears throat> come in, go to the little bar thing, get something for lunch, go sit over in the area by the windows. There's also an outdoor area. There's also an upstairs area that you can sit in. And then uh, it's also not uncommon for a lot of people to determine that those spaces are a little bit full or just because there's another person already in that space, it'd be more comfortable for them to be alone in their own car. So they'll go out to their car Sometimes the employees would sit on the grass. Sometimes the other customers would sit on the grass as well. I usually just stayed in my car just because even though it's Whole Foods, I'm sure they still use pesticides and stuff on the grass. So I just kind of stayed in my car. But I wasn't the only one. The only time anybody ever got mad at me was one time I fell asleep after I got done eating. And when I woke up, they were closed. And the police were like, what are you doing? I was like, uh, I was eating here. And they're like, why are you still here? They're closed. I'm like, uh, and they're like, were you asleep? Like, no. <laughs> they were like, okay, um, you can't stay here tonight. I'm like, I know, I'm sorry. I'll leave. So I left, and it wasn't a big deal because, like, nobody cared if I went, you know, to uh, a Walmart or a uh, Home Depot or a Cracker Barrel or what, like, whatever. The list goes on, you know. But here, there is no list. There, there's zero places. I got away with it at Walmart last night. Don't know how. I don't know. If they tried waking me up in the middle of the night and I just didn't hear them, or if they just never messed with me for some, I, like I don't know why, but it's like annoying being here. <laughs> yeah, there was two Whole Foods out there. One of them was more in the city, so the parking lot would get turned over a lot quicker. Than, I don't even think there was like a sitting area. Um, there might have been, but it felt really rushed. So I'd always go to the other one, because they had two out there for that purpose. <laughs> so they have one that you can chill at, and, like, people taking their laptops, um, just sit down and eat, um, take a nap in their car, you know, like, it would not be uncommon for me to pull up and there'd be, like, a ambulance crew sitting there eating lunch on one side, and, a a lawn worker guy down the road, you know, like four or five spaces down and then like four or five spaces down this way there might be like, for example, a lawn worker asleep in his truck and then me in the middle, you know, smoking before I go inside, you know, and they don't care because there's just like, there's three cars in like 15 spaces, like who cares, you know, and we're all sitting in the shade just like chilling, you know, it's not uncommon for someone to have their car running or to turn it off, be, you know, sitting there. Um, so I, I don't know what the deal is here. Um, 
but even like a Dollar General. I could roll up to a Dollar General, go in and get a drink. I could sit in the parking lot for, I don't know, an hour. Couldn't fall asleep out there, but... Oh. Here it's like you do your shopping, you get in your car and you leave. The Walmarts out there, it wasn't uncommon to see people staying overnight, me staying overnight, but also during the day, if you went into Walmart, it's kind of like just, I don't know, not really common knowledge, but like if you made a purchase every two hours or so, they weren't going to bother you. And that's pretty reasonable, because I mean, you're going to want to go inside and use the bathroom anyways, and then you can buy stuff when you're in there, buy what you need, food, water, whatever, give them a good rating, they love you right security guards cool with you because like you're not stealing stuff in fact in a way and me being out there or like people like me being out there makes those parking lots safer because um for example i'd be asleep in my car and the guard would be you know circling around or whatever and he would see somebody trying to mess with my car and that kept me safe i didn't have to you know wake up and deal with anybody um kept me up my windows from being busted in you know it also helped reduce crime in general but it kept the walmart more safe because that same person if my car wasn't there in the parking lot they would have come further in and they would have busted walmart property and then that security guard would have lost his job and then they had to hire a new security guard and this one's not as good and then you know each time it's going to be a little bit worse a little bit worse and then it's going to be like new york i think i don't know new york's like a whole other thing right but um yeah, it's just, I don't know. So, I had this rover person contact me and be like, can you watch house sit for our dogs on these dates? Have my rates set. So if you like are on rover and you see a profile and you're like, oh, those rates are too high let me find a different person that has lower rates try a different app maybe I don't know but they canceled on me because they couldn't afford their tickets to go on their trip and before they had canceled they were trying to negotiate a lower price because one of the dogs is smaller so that I guess was her justification for me taking off price for that one dog but she never told me a number because, like, I was a little bit defensive when she said it. Because, like, you want to take off money because the dog is a little bit smaller. That, like, doesn't really make sense. And they also wanted me to do extra work. They wanted me to take care of their chicks. Their baby chickens. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of glad they canceled on me. Because it just, it just didn't seem like a good fit. Um, and it would have made me, if my ratings go bad, I would have canceled on them. So... It works out, you know. I was thinking, like, they want me to lower my rates, but how much does, like, a kennel cost? Right? So, and what I'm bringing to the table is a higher value than a kennel because you send your dog to a kennel, you're risking them getting kennel cough, you're risking them catching something from other dogs, you're risking them, you know, getting hurt. They're basically just in a cage all day. They don't get to really... I don't Like, I think if you do that with your dog like it depends on the area that you're in but where i'm from from arkansas what i know of it it's usually like emergency type stuff it's like i'm in the hospital and nobody can take care of my dog so the vet is gonna let me board the dog there and you know they just kind of keep it there as if it was under medical observation or something even though it's not um that'd be outreach program not outreach programs that would be certain like shelters and stuff that would also do that to take pressure off of the vets but um the new thing now is doggy daycare go to doggy daycare and that's good in a way but you also got to keep in mind that it's like not for every dog so um you know, it's kind of like with kids, like you send your kids to daycare or do you hire a babysitter? I'm kind of like the babysitter, right? So, 
anyways, yeah, they canceled on me, which kind of sucked, but I'll figure it out. Um, and I'm not sure if they're legit, if they're, like, actually, like, well, we're, we decided to cancel our trip, so we don't need you, sorry. Or if they're, like, legitimately upset about the fact that I'm homeless. So I told the couple in Germantown that I live in my car. And she almost started crying, okay, like, super dramatic, um, I, I don't know, it's just, like, the money, the wealth, the, the, like, prestige and everything, and everything's perfect or whatever, so for her to, like, it was just, like, a, a movie or something, you know, for her to meet someone who's, who's living in their car, in her mind, she probably thought, you know, homeless, kind of, like, I don't know brings me back to like the, the depression where like a really rich person meets somebody who's like a hobo and like they've heard about this you know so yeah um she didn't take it very well and so but they still let me book and I think that was probably part of why they let me book because they're like well he needs a place to stay you know um this couple kind of seems the opposite where it's like I mentioned it to him because at first I thought they were kind of like the more like free thinking type. So it's really hard out in the country because like you'll have homesteaders that are like completely different from each other. But they kind of have like the same qualities in some aspects. And so you might like assume like, oh, this is somebody who uh, agrees with me politically or something, but they don't. <laughs> And we did talk a little bit about politics because they were like, so where are you going after this? I'm like, a blue state. I want out of the red. And they're like, which state? And I'm like, I don't know exactly. So we all just started naming off states. And I thought it was fun, but I guess they probably thought it was bad that I want to go to a blue state. I don't know. Maybe I'm making a lot of assumptions. But yeah. Um, after that, I don't know. Because I still got to do my taxes, right? Because I still got to. I'm just kidding. I gotta get into Canada. I know. I know. Gotta get into Canada. I don't know how. You know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. And it's like... Hmm. How do I want to do it? Right? Like, do I want to try... School first? Go back to college? I don't know. Oy, yay, 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 yay. And like shopping malls and stuff, unless it was like a busy day, you know, like a weekend or a holiday or something like the days everybody's shopping in the parking lot is just packed out like you cannot get in there um shopping malls you could like just kind of hang out because you could go into like one store and purchase something and then go back out to your car and sit for like two or three hours and then go back into another store and purchase something kind of the same thing as the walmart thing but um because they don't consider that loitering they, they consider that just shopping because that's just that, i don't know that's just what people do like they just make a day of it, I guess. Like, I don't know, you know? Um, it's also not uncommon to see areas where, like, workers will park. So, like, obviously, like, Wendy's and stuff are going to have, like, working workers parking or whatever. But uh, you probably don't want to park next to that because they're going to be in and out and they're going to be suspicious of somebody parked next to their car. Um, so just kind of out of the way somewhere. Nobody really ever seemed to mind in Memphis, like... You're a customer, you know. It didn't matter. It's like that guy bought something, you know. So, I mean, I'm not saying that they would just like let you stay the night every single time. You could get away with it every now and then, but for the most part, it was just like, um, as long as you're a customer, you're not loitering. But here, even if you're a customer, you're loitering. I don't know. 